Now, it's the age-old desire, wanting to turn back time and reverse the effects of ageing. Now, medical researchers claim it can be done, and we've been following an experiment which shows they could be right. Hey, Hi, Chris. How are you? Hey. Hey, Chris. How are you? Good, mate. Good. How are you? Oh, I'm feeling fantastic. Look at you. Feeling fantastic. Terrific. You look well. Thank you. Come in. <laughs> Kane Tetley and Lynn Wilson have been working hard at turning back time. I do absolutely feel younger. I used to get out of bed sometimes and think I was 75 with my knees, but now I'm, I just jump out of bed. It's, it's great. I feel really good. I feel healthy, so that's good. When we first met Lynn and Kane nine months ago, they were embarking on an experiment at this Melbourne clinic run by longevity expert Dr David Badov. I think it's amazing how much, and they've achieved, I think their change has been dramatic. I've lost 20, between 26 and 28 kilos wow. in nine months. How much weight do you think you've lost? I think about nine or ten kilos, around that mark. There's no doubt the weight loss has made them look younger, but blood tests prove it may also save their lives. Well, before the total cholesterol was 4.5 and it's come down to 3.6. Dr Phil Barraclough from the Health Screen Clinic gives Kane the good news. The target is four for people who are moderate or high risk and yours is uh, 3.6. Very good. So I should be happy with that. Uh, father died at 48 and, um, you know, I've got a... My mother had a heart attack. You know, I've got lots of heart issues in our family. At 51, Kane wants to make sure he's around to spend more time with his two daughters. And nine months ago, 52-year-old Lynn was heading for type 2 diabetes. Now she's turned that around. This is the HbA1c, which is your average blood sugar level, which we use as a, as a marker for type 2 diabetes. And now it's back to normal. So, Perfect. all good news. Perfect. Got to be happy with that. There have been multiple trials that showed that you can definitely reverse your biological age with medication as well as exercise, healthy lifestyle. I joined Kane and Lynn on this experiment last year. It started with a four-hour examination from head to toe. Dr Badoff and his team here at HealthScreen use state-of-the-art technology to examine your body. And one of the tools they use is this MRI machine. Now that stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. And it simply works by creating a magnetic field and using radio waves to take photographs of your inside. So what we're using in our assessments, if you like, is the gold standard. It's the scientific way of assessing biological age. Your biological age can be different to your chronological age. And the theory is you can reverse your biological age and live a longer and healthier life. Lynn and Kane started the process by focusing on their diet with the help of a nutritionist. And making sure I ate the right things at the right time probably was the main thing and including everything not eliminating anything but just portions and timing you know like at the start i struggled to lose weight so they had to tweak it a bit um and for me it was like carbs you know like um you know just eating too much too many carbs and you know when they say one server carb was like a piece of bread i could you know i could have like 15 serves in a day <laughs> so that was the problem exercise has helped i my dog is the fittest she's ever been. Exercise is the next ingredient in the experiment. Pounding the pavement with the dog um, every day, at least five to seven kilometres a day with the dog. And you feel better? Feeling just, uh, my knee pain that I had before is gone. Energy levels are much higher. It's just been great. But with lockdown, it was pretty hard to do any exercise. Well, hard to go to a gym, obviously. So Kane says he became addicted to his Peloton. Cold uh, Melbourne wet day, you know, you can come in here, 35, 45 minutes, it's done. Body scans found I didn't need to lose weight. Instead, I was prescribed a cocktail of vitamins, supplements and one drug called metformin. Now, metformin's normally used to treat diabetes, but Dr Badov says in some clinical trials, it's been found to have anti-aging effects. Certainly in both animal and human trials, it has been shown to reduce cancer, 
uh, even reduce chances of Alzheimer's disease and degenerative diseases, but more importantly, improve your longevity and reduce mortality. Blood tests nine months ago gave us our biological ages. Kane came in a year older than his birthday, Lynn's was exactly the same, and mine three years older. So in a few months, we'll test again to see if diet, exercise and medication has managed to make us younger. I was glad I was close to my own age. I'm hoping with some of the changes, you know, it goes down a little bit. It'll be really interesting to see whether having lost weight, increased my exercise, been on the metformin has actually made a difference. And you're hopeful you might have turned back time to 25. <laughs> Benjamin Button, eat your heart out. <laughs> Uh, good, and we'll bring you the final results of that experiment later this year.